Hey guys, welcome to my very first spoken video and my very first settlement, Red Rocket. It took me about two weeks to build it. I'm a bit OCD about avoiding clipping as much as possible, so it takes me forever to place things. I kept the vanilla boundaries on all my settlements, as you will see. I only used the weapon drop bug to increase the build limit. I don't mind the extra work at all, actually. It lets me keep track of their growth. I like that. This is my one and only guard, my protectron named Ice Cube. Unlike most robots, he actually stays at his post. Incredible. I had so much fun with the theme buses. Makes the most sense for a gas station too, I figure. <laughs> of course the grass mod clipped through the floor. But I actually like the effect here. I use the do-it-yourself clatter mod. It's very awesome. Needs building space like crazy, but so much better than placing every object separately. Uh, don't ask me what's up with the dorm names. I just thought it was funny. Sadly, the three beds are too close together, it seems the settlers can use them. Well, even though it's possible for me to walk between them. <sighs> so annoying figuring out what's too narrow for settlers. The answer usually is most everything. I have three companions living there. Ada, Nick and Strong. Plus and Hargraves we put on some wonderful radio found her early on I'll probably move her elsewhere at some point not really a fitting place for her she did get the luxury bus with a private TV though Too bad Nick isn't here today. He's obsessed with a cooking station for some reason. This settlement has three animal residents, one Brahmin, dog meat, and a cat. But a cat bowl makes them stationary. Same with the dog hunt. I carefully pick outfits for my settlers, making sure none wear the same clothes. Making outfits match the theme of the settlement is really fun to me. However, Red Rocket doesn't really have a clothing theme. Just a bunch of people with nowhere else to go banded together. Maybe Sanctuary didn't want them being all organized and boring. Another day of hard work. It never changes. Yeah, managing your settlers is a piece of work indeed. Oh, hey, dog meat buddy. I know we haven't traveled much lately. Careful. I should have waited with recording for when there's actually fruit on the trees. They've just harvested everything apparently. Sorry about that. Cramming stuff into the buses is quite You're annoying. One of the good ones. Took me hundreds of hours to learn that there is a keyboard toggle to disable surface snap. Ugh. <coughs> Nick, creeping up on me as usual, I see. Yeah? I really like the reading room. Please ignore the uh, floating sign on the right. Let's power up the jukebox. I disabled it so I wouldn't get spanned by all the radios while building. I 
never actually seen any settlers use the bar. But Nick likes to watch movies. Probably porn. He's a bit of a peeping tom too. And I think there's something going on with Ada. My eye bud, Eddie. Very creative, I know. I love his little flashlight. But he also lives here. I've tried moving Nick back to Diamond City, but he refuses to go. Uh, the difference between robots and synths? Well, we're. I think I ate too much. Me too. Self diagnostic complete. I'm happy to report I won't be falling apart on you anytime soon. We can shake it off a little. Oh, 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 is run down but kind of cozy for the apocalypse. I didn't have the bathroom stalls at the time so I used the boxcar walls, not realizing they are sliding doors. <laughs> Oops. But then I decided to keep them anyway. I like the look actually. didn't change the power armor workshop, only added a few uh, storage boxes. On the roof is my soul survivor's man cave. His name is Nori, short for Noriaki. He is half Japanese, half Mexican. I call him the Jacksican. Don't laugh. The stairs are too short, as you can see, you actually need to jump. Naive me thought that would keep those filthy settlers away. Awesome, right? Then of course I found out they just teleport everywhere. Yes, and kick your stuff around anyway. Just like the Skyrim homesteads where the husky used to wreck my green garden over and over and over. I give the husky away, I'm a horrible person, I know. And so here they are, crowding Nori's private home. Yeah, just just use his gym, be you my guest. to Diamond City one of these days. Biggest town I ever saw. I put up some armors randomly. I might replace common ones with unique sets. I placed all the food one by one on the shelves in the beginning, only to find half of the stuff glitched into the floor soon after. Can't seem to fix it. You take a night off. Red Rocket is fairly well lit at night, as you can see, better than most of my other settlements. And I love onions, I really, really do. I wish I could grow them. Screw corn, right? N no, no, seriously, onions make everything better. They are great in any form and shape. What do you do with corn? I, I like it on pizza, okay? But have you seen pizza in the Commonwealth? Please. So many humans, not many super mutants. Don't worry, my ocular sensors are well suited for travel at night. Still nobody here. 
How sad. The cinema is appropriately dark. Yeah, as you probably know, they all gather in the shop area for some reason at night, even though they are all assigned to bed. Let's switch to an aerial view. Red Rocket has 16 residents, including the robots, 36 food, 19 water, 35 power, 104 defense, 15 beds, and 77% happiness. I use photorealistic commonwealth AMB and true grass. I really like this grass mod as a kind of balance between the totally barren vanilla landscape and the super overgrown The Last of Us kind of look. Even if you move the grass fade slider all the way to the right in the options the way I did, it doesn't tank your frame rate like, I don't know, Flora Overhaul did in Skyrim. I, I couldn't run it at all on my GDX 970 back when I modded that game. I know not everybody likes a more colorful look of Fallout 4 compared to previous games, but I really really do and I think it makes sense that after 200 years, yeah, some grass should have grown back, you know? So I went with a grass mod, but not one that was extreme like, what's it called? Regrowth or something. I run the game at 1440p, but accidentally recorded in 1880p. Sorry, <laughs> using a GTX 1070, and I'm getting between 30 and 45 frames per second here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour, and stay tuned for more Silman videos. I currently have seven that I completely finished, including Red Rocket that I will upload over the next few weeks. The overall goal is to build all the settlements in one save file, but the game will probably explode before my head does.